Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to take a look at temperature testing, specifically for Hatchbox PLA filament. Uh, as many of you know, I've been a huge proponent of eSun for years. I absolutely loved it, used it for everything. And then in the last year or so, I noticed the quality starting to, to uh, degrade. I don't know if they're having a problem getting... Um, uh, components for making the filament or you know whatever uh, but it has definitely gone downhill lots of clogs lots of stringing that just cannot be eliminated so I finally gave up uh, after doing a lot of testing with it and went with Hatchbox now Hatchbox is a fantastic filament um, used to use it for years before I switched to eSun um, eSun had a wider temperature range that you could print at successfully Hatchbox does not. So I went through and did some testing with it and wanted to share what I found with all of you. Um, in this first image, it's uh, all of the models in this video, by the way, are printed on Creality Ender 3 V2s uh, and Ender 3, uh, my original Ender 3 that's about five years old. But in this first image, it's Hatchbox PLA Gray. The string test on the left is 190 degrees. The string test on the right is 185. And that difference is astounding. That is only five degrees of temperature difference. And you go from massive stringing and a really terrible looking print to a print that's just about perfect. Um, so I wanted to see, I tested this across more machines. Um, I tested this again at 190 on two separate machines. Here was the results, very consistent. Um, I really couldn't say one is any more worse than the other. They're both just terrible. Uh, did the test again, again, two different machines. This time I varied it a little bit. Uh, one was at 185, one was at 180. Here is the result of those. They both look fantastic. Um, I did another test, uh, I didn't have the piece, I couldn't find what I did with it, it was 175, and that one, you actually started to see some inconsistent extrusion with it, because 175 is just getting a little too low. So, um, if you're going to use Hatchbox, keep it between 180 and 185. Uh, if you're doing something really large and printing fast, you may not be able to do that, you may need to get it up to 190. Uh, if you're doing a really fast speed on it just to get it um, melting fast enough but for most detailed work uh, go with 180 to 185. Uh, I do have a link for the hatchbox I'm using in the video description if you would like that and also I'd just like to mention we are currently running our new Realm of the Goblin King Kickstarter if you would please check that out there's a link above and a link in the video description um, supporting me on Kickstarter is how I can afford to keep doing these videos for all of you. So if you would check that out, I would really appreciate it. Please click that like and subscribe button. Thank you.